Times this weekend told the story of Dr. Hawa Abdi, a Somali physician who runs a clinic, school, and food program that supports tens of thousands of Somali people who live without a functioning government. Dr. Abdi's compound was attacked by a militia made up mostly of teenage boys, and she was held at gunpoint until, as the Times writer puts it, something surprising happened. Seeing their doctor and their beloved hospital under siege, Dr. Abdi's community rose up. Hundreds of women turned out to protest, and the community condemnation forced the militia to back down and even write a written apology to Dr. Abdi. On the anniversary of the Haiti earthquake, it's hard not to think about how we turn up or not for the ones we love. A year on, that country is still mostly in ruins, and you can hear the frustration from the correspondent who's kept Grit TV up to date with regular reports, the Haitian-American activist Dr. Marie Saint-Cyr. Saint-Cyr tells stories, too, though, of what is getting done in Haiti, off-camera, mostly out of public view. Women, mostly, have come together to respond to assaults on each other and their families, and with the help of some key international groups, they've pushed the very same government that Oxfam calls in paralysis into gear, such that it is possible, just possible, that a new health clinic for survivors will be announced this year. If Haitians and Somalis, people with what most of us would call nothing, can take a stand and protect what they hold dear, how about us? Human services, public workers, budgets for schools, for libraries, for public media. In Arizona, immigrants' rights activist Salvador Reza told Grit TV, immigrants are familiar with responding to violence with community. In the wake of the shooting that left Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords wounded and six others dead, the rest of our country seems still to be tr struggling with that notion. Dr. King described our options, chaos or beloved community. Both are clearly on display today. Like the Somalis and the Haitians, we have a choice, militarization or care.